I really enjoy the aspect of the show but don't tell of this first episode of 86. It's something that can be very hard to do because even though there can be series that could try this, for instance, show but don't tell, it can go down to where it can ruin the entire series because nothing is properly explained. And obviously the whole point of show don't tell is to just, you know, just show aspects but don't tell them exactly what's going on. But if, let's say, the animators don't actually put in the subtle details for the audience to pick up on, then obviously the show don't tell aspect isn't going to work. So this type of storytelling can definitely lead to some repercussions. However, from the first episode, at least from I've seen as an anime only, I feel like there was enough given that I have a good understanding where the story is at right now, what's potentially going on, but there is enough mystery to where I'm like, what is going to happen? What is the bigger picture behind the scenes? And what will the story evolve into down the road? There's a lot of questions I have. But, however, 86 is an anime that I've heard many tell me to watch. Ever since it was announced as an anime, many are telling me you do not need to miss this series. It is a fantastic story. It's going to be good. You need to sit down and watch it when it actually airs. And here I am right now, and I like what I have seen. I love the first episode. It's really good. Once again, though, it could definitely be something that many might not enjoy as much, because if you don't like the, like I said, the show but don't tell aspect of storytelling, you might not like this, because this is definitely not a series where you could just sit down and turn off your brain. That's not what this is. And if you are someone that just likes to sit down and chill, watch some comedy slice live series, which there's nothing wrong with that, but if you don't want to really think too hard, this is definitely not going to be the series for you. However, going a step further in what it's actually about, at least from what I can gather, 86 is a futuristic mecha anime, not fully mecha, but it's somewhat mecha to where there is a war raging on. We don't really know exactly what the war is really trying to accomplish. We don't know exactly who's on either side. We don't really know how it started. There's a lot of details that isn't fully covered with the first episode. However, we do know that a war has been going on for a bit, and potentially the ending of this war is in sight maybe in a few years. However, what mixes this war up from what a traditional war would be is that there is no casualties actually on the battlefield. It's stated multiple times throughout the episode until we actually meet the people behind, you know, those on the battlefield, what's going on. It's stated multiple times there is no human casualties. However, the way the episode tries to showcase is that there is something more going on, that there is entities on the battlefield that definitely have some form of sentience and intelligence and isn't something that should just be thrown away and say there is no casualties. However, that is what the military and the entirety of, you know, this country is constantly saying on the news, etc., there is no casualties. So it makes you wonder what is really happening here, and you have multiple guesses while watching the episode. You're like, okay, so is the people that are going on the battlefield, are they slaves? Are they AI, cyborgs? You know, what are they exactly? Are they mutated humans? What really are they? And that is a question that's continuously being pounded in your head while you're watching this first episode, and we still don't have a full-on answer to that. However, there is something I do want to point out, and that is the overall design and looks of the individual characters we saw throughout the first episode of 86. When we look at our main female character, and we look at the people around her and who she interacts with, they all have a very striking similarity. You would imagine at first glance that they're probably all family members, but that's obviously not the case. It's stated multiple times there's different family members, but all of them, they have the same hair color and the same eye color. Now, obviously, this can just be a trait with that country and all that, you know, what they live in. Maybe they all just adapt and they have white hair or whatever, but this seems very significant. It seems very significant to add an entire country and have every individual civilian, people who are not even part of the military, to have a trait of white hair and blue eyes. That is something that stands out to me, especially when we get a glimpse at Spearhead and those that are actually on the battlefield. And when you look at their designs, you look at what they are, they look huge. Human. They look like normal individuals and they have different hair colors, different eye colors. They look like what you would see from a normal anime, normal individual characters. But when you look at our main characters are considered human, they all look alike. And like you get the impression that maybe they're AI or they're enhanced in some way. Something is going on there. But whatever the case may be, 
That is what the episode tries to relay to you with the show but don't tell aspect. And like I said, I appreciate that. I like how this series is trying to say you're smart enough to pick up on these things and we're not going to see and think that you're dumb and we're going to have to shovel all this exposition into your mouth for you to really understand what is going on. This is kind of why I've always loved ReZero as well because ReZero, it always did a storytelling aspect to where it did show but don't tell as well. It just showed through character interactions of what's really going on. But getting back on topic though, so currently at this time, at least from what I can see where the story is going, you have her main female character that apparently feels like those that are dying on the battlefield, she feels like they are casualties. Every time she is operating and being a handler over these special units or whatever, she's like, you know, writing down the casualties, but the one that's in charge is like, you need to stop doing that. There is no casualties. There is no human death or whatever. And it just makes you see that there is a conflict here to where, like, she feels like these individuals on the battlefield are individuals that should be noted and remembered for their sacrifices, but the people in power do not believe that. Once again, we don't have clear-cut answer if they are actually AIs, enhanced humans, or whatever. We don't really know. So, that's, that is a big mystery right there. But she's continuously like, we need to do that. We need to have casualties. And you have the guy in charge kind of shuts her up. He's like, oh, you're just like your father. Which is very odd and creepy, especially with the tone of the episode and the lighting and all that. The way he kind of emphasizes that, she takes it in a good way. But the way he relays that information saying you're just like your father, it makes me feel like her father that is apparently not around and dead... He probably had something to do with it. That, that's at least the impression I got. Something mysterious happened with her father that probably also cared about those on the battlefield, and he wound up completely dead. That's my assumption. I could be wrong. He's probably going into something that he shouldn't, figuring out things, and, you know, he was silenced for it. So there is a lot. There is a lot to really take from this first episode of 86, and I enjoyed what I watched. It's good. It's really good. At first, I when I was watching it, I was like, wow, this is reminding me a lot of Vivi from this anime season because like I just watched the episode and then I went into 86 and I was like this is kind of similar but then it kind of established its own story and it definitely is different so I'm fine with it I do like these you know the two series are airing today like Vivi and you know now 86 it's great and I'm just I'm happy to see that this series is standing you know tall and people are loving it and you know it's not failing upon arrival apparently it's going to be a split core anime so it's going to have probably 12 episodes this season and then it's going to go on break for a season or two and then be back again once again you know my opinion on that that means that the quality and health of the staff and the story and everything could be of a higher quality so that that's just great news overall just to know that it's split core but on top of that as well, Sawano is working on the music, like co-composer of the music of this series. And let's be honest, everybody's probably heard Sawano once or twice while watching anime over the years. So I'm just, I'm happy to see that we're going to have a good soundtrack. Just this, this series has a lot of potential to be good. And I mean, I've expected it to be good because of how many people are hyping it up. Um, I don't feel like the hype, you know, destroyed my enjoyment of the first episode. I was actually very pleased with what I got, but maybe it's because I went in completely blind. I didn't really read anything about the summary of synopsis of 86, so that could be a part to play as well. I didn't really know what to expect going in. I just, I knew it was some form of war, and that was really it. So, I'm pleased with what I got, and if you are interested in watching this, you really should. It, there's one episode out now, it aired today. It, it's, it's enjoyable. If you have time, give it a shot. You might like it. But I think I want to leave it at that, though. That's my first impressions of 86. Can't wait to talk about it again next week when episode 2 airs. But with that, guys, I love you. You have a wonderful day or night wherever you live. If you enjoy my content, you know, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And with that, guys, Chibi out.